Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. It's the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 29th of November. James Spann here. Another cold, raw, wet day for the state. Some rain, some snow, some drizzle, but uh, better weather is ahead for the rest of this week. Uh, we'll check out some of the shots around the southeast this morning. First off, a, a viewer image. This is coming in from Oxford, Mississippi. And that seems to be where some of the better snow came down during the night over northeast Mississippi. You know, that was that zone we had talked about. Uh, northeast Mississippi, far northwest Alabama, southern middle Tennessee, heavy wet snow. But even there, the ground was just wet. You know, the, the soil was too warm for travel problems. There's the uh, Hamilton sky cam, and it's the same deal up in northwest Alabama's Marion County. You got the snow on the grass, but the track there at the high school, it's just wet. The asphalt is wet. Uh, pretty much the same deal in Fayette. We got light snow falling there, but the streets are just wet. There are no travel problems in downtown Haleyville. Uh, snow, but the streets are just wet. And we can be thankful for that. Everybody going about your business this morning. But take it easy because the roads are just wet, and we have a lot of wrecks when the roads are just wet. The upper low, boy, what a system. That thing is over Nashville this morning, lifting away from us. But it's going to take a while for that thing to lose its influence on the state. Temperatures have not moved all night long. I mean, they've just been sitting there like a rock. And again, Haleyville, I don't know about that 30 up there. Our Skycam's got 34, and I think that's more reliable. Uh, and again, uh, 37 for Birmingham. 38 for Tuscaloosa. And there's the radar this morning. That's at 443. No human should be awake at that hour. And again, what you got there, that's a lot of light rain mixed with uh, some snow across uh, parts of north and central Alabama with the upper low. Uh, winter weather advisory still for western Tennessee, northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi. Those will be dropped a little later today as the upper low lifts out. And to the north, flash flood watches up for parts of Ohio and Michigan and also some winter weather issues there around Indianapolis. There's the snow probabilities for the rest of today through tonight. Of course, everything lifting out of here. Higher probabilities are centered uh, well to the north and east of the state and rain for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday evening, and that's what came down since 6 o'clock last night. We do not expect any rain after today until late this weekend and early next week, as you'll see. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid at noon today. Upper low, moving out of Tennessee into Kentucky. But down below that, again, just kind of raw and cold and damp. I don't think we get past the low 40s today. And uh, we'll maintain the chance of light rain, drizzle, and a few snowflakes, uh, mainly this morning, although northeast Alabama could see light rain all day today. All right, tomorrow, things look a little better. The sky clears. But it's still going to be rather cool. Uh, highs only in the upper 40s tomorrow, despite sunshine returning. But Thursday looks much nicer. Thickness values are coming up, probably upper 50s. And Friday, we should be around 60, maybe 61 with a bright, sunny sky. So uh, clearly, <coughs> later in the week, the weather will be brighter and warmer. Saturday, as we start the weekend, nice day. The GFS is showing 64. We'll call it partly sunny. And ooh, look at the snowstorm out there for Amarillo, Texas, and Gage, Oklahoma, and Trinidad, Colorado, uh, as that new system comes out of there. And Sunday, there's the trough. Got a southwest flow aloft here and a batch of rain on the surface front, easing into northwest Alabama. This run clearly faster than other runs. And if this is correct, this would suggest rain reaching a Sunday afternoon. Uh, and that will continue Sunday night. So Saturday looks fine. Sunday, clouds come back along with a chance of rain perhaps as early as Sunday afternoon. And there's Monday. The front just kind of easing through here. The front is parallel to the upper airflow, so it's going to take its time. And boy, it's some cold air behind that deal. Uh, it's at 1,032 millibar high sitting over Amarillo, Texas. But Tuesday, you know, notice how the trough really kind of lifts out, and accordingly the air modifies, and it's not as cold on this run, but that could change. Uh, but for now, that would be cooler, the rain ending on Tuesday, but not really cold. But we'll watch trends. We'll go to the end of the forecast on December the 14th. Ooh, that's 11 days away from Christmas. Where's the year gone? Kind of a wavy southern branch there and uh, no really cold air, and that would be just kind of dry and pleasant, if by chance that's correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. 